So what do I say if she doesn't want to work on e-learning? It's no problem, Rat. What you need is my special five-point plan. Oh, come on, Damone. I need a real help here. What do you mean? Hey, men have died trying to obtain this valuable information, but I'm going to give it to you for free. Okay, so what's your five-point plan then? All right, now pay attention. First, you never let on to how much you like e-learning. Oh, Pamela, e-learning, am I right? Second, call, you always call the shots. Study with me, you won't regret it. Three, wherever you're doing e-learning, make that the place to be. Isn't this great? Now four, when working in a group project, find out what she wants to do. Demand it for the both of you. It's a classy move. We're gonna watch Mr. Metcalf's Pythagorean Theorem video part two and then do assignment number three. And five, now Rat, this is most important. When it comes down to doing your e-learning assignment, whenever possible, Mm -hmm. Put on side one of Led Zeppelin 4. <laughs>
If you have more than one radius, you can say radii, R-A-D-I-I, one of those few words in the English language that has a double I in it. So, yeah, that's why all the cool kids use it. All right, so circle P, because P is the center, three radii, PC, PA, PB. All right, any questions so far? Man, that screen was pretty easy. Let's move on. Um, Radius has an older brother. His name is Diameter. Guess what? Diameter is always twice as old as Radius because he's actually made up of two radii that are going back to back. All right? So if you have this guy's a radius and this guy's another radius going back to back, they'd be a diameter because here's what a diameter is. And again, I'm going to give you a few seconds to copy it. All right, here we go. A diameter is the segment that contains the center of the circle. So the diameter has to pass through the center and has both endpoints on the circle, all right? So in this example, AB would be a diameter because here's A, one endpoint on the circle. He passes through the center, P, and goes all the way to the other side. So uh, AB would be a diameter. Don't call him APB because a diameter is a segment, and we learned a long time ago, long time ago, that a, a segment is named by its two endpoints. So don't call it APB, just call it either AB or BA, all right? Then uh, here's PC again. Again, he's not a diameter because he's he just goes from the center out to the circle. He doesn't go all the way to the other side. Now, a central angle, these are going to be very important here in a few minutes, Central angle is just an angle whose vertex is the center of a circle. So there's a couple of them here. You got this little small one right here, like that angle. Like you can call that angle right there CPA. That would be this one right here. Uh, you've got another central angle right here. This kind of big, this, oh, it's a big obtuse guy, right? This guy right here, that angle would be CPB. And... Uh, that's probably good enough, but those are central angles. Uh, as long as their vertex is the center of the circle, they're a central angle. Doesn't just mean any angle that's in the circle, no. Like if I drew an angle right here, like if I did this, that's not a central angle because his vertex is not the center of the circle. So that's not a central angle, all right? Okay, moving on. We're about to the juicy screen already, man. Y'all are doing great. Okay, boom. Boom, a skip screen, look at that, right there, man. We can skip that one. Uh, moving on, and oh, here's where it gets juicy. Now we're gonna talk about arc. This is not like a, a big boat where a bunch of animals jumped in. No, that's an A-R-K, all right? Uh, it's also not the, like, the one that Indiana was, Jones was looking for in his first movie, the Ark of the, uh, the missing, was it Raiders of the Lost Ark? That's, a, that's a, a fancy box, all right? An arc is basically, that A-R-K is some kind of fancy thing that holds something, you know, pretty important, all right? Uh, we're talking about A-R-C, all right? So A-R-C is a piece of a circle, all right? Um, and there's three types, basically small, medium, and large. All right, I'm not gonna go in that order, that'd be too easy, right? I'm actually gonna go in medium, small, large order, all right? And we don't call them small, medium, and large, that'd be, again, too easy. We call them, the medium guy, we call a semicircle. Now, we've talked about this prefix semi before. Semi literally means half, all right? Uh, a semicircle is exactly half of a circle. A long time ago, you all told me, before I even taught you it, that a circle has 360 degrees, so a semicircle being half of a circle has 180 degrees, all right? So that's gonna be halfway around the circle. Now, here's the important thing, how to name them. And we're gonna talk more in detail on this in just a moment, but just for now, just write that a semicircle, you need three points to name it for a semicircle. Now we're gonna move to the small kind, the minor arc, all right? You got minor and major. Minor means small, major means big, all right? If somebody said, man, me and my boyfriend, we had a minor disagreement, it'd be a small disagreement. But if they say we have a major disagreement, yeah, that's a big one, all right? So minor, 
Now, the cool thing about that, minor arcs have to be less than 180 degrees. Because remember, 180 makes you medium, makes you a semicircle. You're half of a circle. If you're less than 180, you're a minor arc. You're small. And check this out right here. You only use two points to name a minor arc, all right? So we we're going to use three for the semicircle, and I'll explain why in just a minute. But when you're talking about a small arc, less than 180 degrees, you're only going to use two points to name. That'd be the two endpoints, obviously. And then the last one is the big arc, the major arc, all right? That is greater than half of a circle. So it's got to be more than 180 degrees, but it can't be 360, all right? So it's got to be less than 360. If you're 360 degrees, you are a circle. So you're not a piece of a circle anymore. You're the whole thing. And again, since it's big, you're going to need three points to name it. The two endpoints and then some point in between the endpoints. All right. So let's look at this beautiful example I got here. And I'm going to call on my first person. Uh, I believe I'm going to call. Oh, oh, there was something I forgot to mention on the other slide. But we, we'll go back to that and get that later. Um, actually, I, I do want to go back real quick. One part of a, we talked about this diameter. Going, it's going all the way across. I could draw another guy like this. Let's put him in a uh, green here. Oop, that's not green. Uh, I could draw another guy like this who's going all the way across, and somebody might say, hey, Mr. Mekin, is that a diameter? No, it does go from side to side, but it doesn't pass through the center. So he's not a diameter. He is something else we're going to learn about later. What T T dog? You you know what that's called? A chord. That's absolutely right. When you go from one side to the other, you're a chord, which we're going to learn about those later. Uh, but this one is this chord is not a diameter because he doesn't go through the center. Now, is a diameter a chord? Yes, a diameter is the most special type of chord because it passes through the center. This guy is just a regular chord. And again, we'll learn about that later, all right? Good job, T-Dog. All right, so moving back on to what we're talking about. Now, uh, I'm gonna ask a, another question right here. RS is what kind of arc? All right, so now just the name alone should give it away. Who thinks they've got it, all right? Uh, Glenn Ree, Glenn, what type, what type of arc is RS? That's absolutely right. He said a minor arc. Let's see. Let's use a circle right here. It's a minor arc. How did he know that? Well, take a look at RS. Here's R, here's S. From here to here, that's less than half of a circle. Less than half of a circle makes you a minor arc. Now, somebody could ask, hey, Mr. Metcalf, you went R to S. How come you didn't go R this way? How come you didn't go the long way to S? Well, the fact that it only had used two letters in its name is telling me, and that's the reason for only having two letters in its name, the fact that it only has a two-letter name, RS, that's telling me he needs to be a short angle. He needs to be small. And that's, that's how you know to go RS this way and not RS that way, because that's the long way. To go that way, you would need three letters, all right? Okay, man, you all are doing good on this. Does somebody else, can somebody else pick another? They want two more minor arcs. Can somebody else name another minor arc? Andrea. Andrea, which one do you want? She says SV. Okay, let's take a look. SV. Okay, here's S, here's V. Yes, you're absolutely right, Andrea. That would be another minor arc. It's less than halfway around the circle. So SV, now, oh, another good thing, uh, arcs go both ways. So Andrea called it SV, I might call it VS, all right? It's the same arc. SV and VS mean the same thing. Good job, Andrea. Okay, so we got, let's write that one down. We got SV, Andrea said that one. Uh, oh, and ooh, the symbol for arc, have I not talked about that? Oh, it's just basically an arc, all right? So. If you want to tell me that's an arc, you just put a little arc over SV. Uh, who's got another one? All right. Dale Horvath. We haven't heard from you in a long time, Dale. What do you think? He says TR. TR, does that look like He named it correctly. I mean, he only used two letters. Oh, here's T and here's R. Yeah, that's a, definitely a minor arc. Check that out. That's very small. All right. Now, some of y'all say, well, what, why, what, if, what if he went TR this way? Well, he doesn't. Because if he only uses two letters, you're supposed to go the short way. 
If he wanted me to go that way, he would have to throw in another letter, either a V or an S, all right? But if you just say TR, I know it to go the short way. Okay, good job. So TR and Dale. Good job. Haven't heard from you in a long time. Good job. All right, moving on to this next question. STR. Now, STR's got three letters. So right away that tells you it's either got to be a semicircle or a major arc. All right? So I've just turned it into a fitty-fitty question for you. There's only two possible answers. Three letters. It's got to either be a semicircle or a major arc. Who wants that one? Uh... Carol Pelletier. How you doing today, Carol? Uh, Carol, what type of uh, arc do you think STR is? You say major? Major? Okay, let's take a look. STR. And you do have to go in that order, by the way. The order does kind of matter. So STR, here's S. And then I would go this way, because I'd go S to T to R. And yes, that is more than halfway around. S to T would be halfway around, but it's S T R. So that is definitely a major arc. Good job, Carol. Uh, who can name this? They want two more major arcs. Can anybody else name another one? Rick Grimes. Awesome, Rick. What do you think? Another one? Uh, another major arc. Uh, Rick says T R V. Okay, let's find, okay, here's TRV right here. T-R, does it go more than halfway? It sure does, V. T-R-V is more than halfway, so that's definitely a major arc. T-R-V. Okay, who's got one more major arc? Oh, not to be outdone by Rick Grimes, Shane Walsh. What do you think? What do you think? She, he's going to say uh, VRS. V oh, wow, VRS, Shane, that is probably the biggest arc in this picture. V, all the way around to R, and there's about halfway right there, but it keeps on going all the way to S. So I'm going to highlight that one. Well, no, I'm not, actually. VRS, that is a major arc. Any questions on the difference between minor, two letters, because they're small, semicircle, Three letters because they're kind of big. And why does it need to be three letters? Check this out. All right, so we got, I got this diameter here, T to S, all right? That's a diameter. So you got a top half semicircle and a bottom half semicircle. Here's why you cannot call it just a TS, all right? Because if I told my friends, hey guys, let's all go hang out on semicircle TS. Well, if I say just that, and maybe I'm thinking about the top semicircle, this one over here, but they say, oh, TS semicircle, and they all go down here to this bottom semicircle. That'd be a miscommunication. They wouldn't, we'd be on the wrong page. So you can't just use two letters for a semicircle. You need to use three, all right? So if I'm talking about the top semicircle, I might want to either call it TRS or SRT. And if I do that, then everybody knows, oh, he's talking about the one on top. But if I want to talk about the one on the bottom, and so nobody gets confused, if I'm talking about the bottom semicircle, I would either call it TVS or SVT. And that way everybody knows I'm talk they're talking about the bottom semicircle. So, semicircles need three letters, and also major arcs need three letters. It lets the, it lets the person know that you're talking about a, a major or a semicircle. Okay, we might have one more screen and be done. Let's see, a little bit more information. Um, hopefully you're all are doing this. And again, please hit pause. I'm going through it kind of fast. Um, so you get a chance to copy it down. So I'm gonna pretend like you're copying it down. Okay, so let me stand out of the way. Make sure everybody's got it. Okay, now, adjacent arc. We've talked about, we've had the word adjacent several times before this year. Adjacent is a fancy word. It means next door to somebody. And you all know how Mr. Metcalf's goofy and I always say, hey, adjacent neighbor instead of next door neighbor, just to be all geometry-like. Adjacent arc. Arcs in the same circle. So you gotta be, you know, same, same circle that share exactly one endpoint. They're not allowed to overlap. Again, Next door neighbors touch, there's a property line, in this case an endpoint to let him know where his 
arc ends and his arc ends, and they touch each other, but they don't overlap. No, no, that's no good. All right, so, uh, and I color-coded mine. I hope y'all can see that at home. Uh, I got arc CB in red and arc AB in blue. Now, the, the end point they share, obviously, is B. They don't overlap. The blue doesn't come up here into the red. The red doesn't go down into the blue. So arc CB and AB are adjacent arcs. Now, this is going to blow your mind away, all right? It's called uh, postulate 10 2, one of my favorite postulates. The arc addition postulate, all right? This will blow your mind away. It says, this M out front here, now that means the measure of arc ABC, that's gotta either be a semicircle or a major one, because it's got three letters, right? It's gonna be equal to the measure of arc AB, this blue guy, plus the measure of BC, the red guy. So if you add those two together, it will equal the measure of the whole thing. And then uh, the measure of arcs are always measured in these weird things called degrees. Again, degrees are one of those things you don't ever go to Home Depot and say, hey, I need this many degrees of rope. Nope. They want inches, centimeters, yards, feet, for stuff like that. Degrees are kind of something we talk about in geometry class, not so much at Home Depot. All right. Any questions? Man, that went pretty quick. I'm tempted to jump into one more screen. How about you all? No? Okay. All right, well, we'll save it for next time. So, again, just to summarize, we've talked about parts of a, a circle. That, remember, the circle is just the ring. It's not the stuff on the inside. So, a Frisbee is a disc. Matter of fact, some people call them discs. Uh, it's in the shape of a circle, but actually the edge of this Frisbee is the really only the circle part. That stuff in the middle is not. Um, we talked about how the radius goes from the center out to the circle. A diameter is twice as long because it's really two radii back to back to each other. So a, a diameter goes from one side of the circle to the other, but it has to go through the center. All right. So like I said, it's like two radii, radii back to back. Uh, and then the other thing we talked about arcs, the three types. There's small, medium, and large. Small is the ma minor arc. You use two letters. The two letter name kind of gives it away that it's smaller. And then the semicircle, that's the medium, that's half of a circle. Literally 180 degrees exactly, not 179, not 181, exactly 180 degrees. And you have to use three letters so you can tell if you're talking about the top arc, semicircle, or the bottom one. If you use three letters, there'll be no confusion. And then the last one is bigger than 180, that's the major arc. All right, any questions? on? On that, all right, I'll probably see you again tomorrow with the rest of this lesson, and we'll find out how to use the radius and the diameter to find the circumference of the uh, circle. All right, stay safe.